Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to take a look at some ways that we can use our characters from Character Creator, the characters that we create. Now, in past videos, we've taken our characters from Character Creator and brought them into iClone and worked on scenes and applied animations to them and so on. Uh, but in this video, we're going to just take a quick look at how we can take these characters and bring them into other software packages, such as game engines and other 3D modeling software packages, such as Maya. So one thing I would like to point out is that uh, you may not be able to do this. I have the pipeline edition of Character Creator, which allows me to easily export out these models. Uh, you may not have that capability. I'm not actually sure. Uh, I think that's something that comes with the pipeline edition. Uh, but nevertheless, this is a really valuable way that we can use character creator software to make characters that we can use in, um, in game engines, just as an example. So here I have a character that I've created in character creator. And here's what he looks like. He's a lumberjack. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is put him into a T-pose. And now we'll go ahead and try exporting him out and bringing him into the Unity game engine. So the first thing I'm going to do is deselect him. And actually, in Character Creator, there is an option. There's an option here under the Modify, uh, under this first tab, the Attribute tab, uh, to convert the character to a game base. And this is not necessary, but I think that I'm going to do it because it simplifies the process somewhat. What it does is it helps combine the materials and textures so that I'm not dealing with... Uh, as many materials and textures that I would be uh, otherwise. Because uh, if you're aware, you know there's a lot of different textures on this character, and in fact, it can get uh, quite complex. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my Modify Attribute uh, tab, and I'm going to convert it to a game base. Uh, this is just asking me if I want to make uh, some of these materials into single single materials uh, and what texture size I want. I'm going to go ahead and make my texture sizes 1024 by 1024 pixels. Uh, and I'm going to choose the single material option here and I will click on convert. Uh, this just indicates that it's going to override some of the body skin weights uh, and that some mesh penetration may occur as a result. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And it'll go through the process of converting it to a game base. So it's gone through the process of creating the game base. Now I'm ready to export this out for the Unity game engine. And what I'm going to do is go to File, Export, FBX. FBX is a format that uh, most, if not all, 3D packages can read. Everything from various game engines to 3D modeling software and so on. So we'll go ahead and select that as an option. Uh, you'll notice that we have this drop-down for the Unity 3D. Uh, we can choose uh, Maya, 3D Max, whatever. Uh, the Unreal Game Engine also is an option here uh, so that the export will be optimized for uh, wherever, whatever software we're targeting here. Uh, we're going for Unity 3D for this one, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, we've got some other options here for Mesh, Motion, Mesh, and Motion. I'm going to go ahead and keep it as Mesh. Uh, I will not embed the textures here, and I am going to have delete hidden faces checked so that we're not getting unnecessary geometry that we don't need, and we'll go ahead and export it out by clicking on the export button. 
Obviously, we're going to need to tell it where to uh, save to. And we'll give it a name and go ahead and export it out. And now that we've completed that, let's go ahead and check it out in Unity. So here we are in Unity, and I've already gone through the process of bringing in this character. Very simple, very easy to do. Uh, it's simply just drag in those, um, those assets that we just exported out from Character Creator. Uh, I have another video that will actually walk you through that whole process. So if you're interested, you can check that out, that other video. Um, one thing I'd like to just mention before we actually take a look at it is that I am using uh, this third person controller plus fly mode. Uh, the author of uh, this resource here for Unity is Vinicius Marques. And um, I just want to give the author a shout out here because I think that this is a really fantastic resource for uh, learning about character setup in Unity. Very quick, very easy, very functional. Uh, so I just really appreciate being able to use this asset to uh, demonstrate uh, these characters in Unity and how easy it is to take a character from Maya or from Character Creator and bring it into the Unity game, game engine and get it up and running. Let's go ahead and return to Unity and we'll go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to hit play and here's our character freshly exported from Character Creator and we can run around with him and test them out in this environment. So there it is. That's how easy it is to bring a character into the Unity game engine from Character Creator. So I've reverted back to my original file. Now let's take a look at the process of taking a character from Character Creator into Maya. So I am going to once again put the character into a T-pose. And uh, we'll go ahead and try exporting it out. So I'm going to go to File, Export. Once again, we'll export it as an FBX. Uh, this time, I'll be changing the, um, the uh, target to Maya. And we'll go ahead and... Um, see how well this uh, exports out. So we're going to export it out to Maya. Click export. And I've created a project that I'm going to be bringing this into in Maya. Found here. Go ahead and give it a name. And save it. So it's completed the export. Let's go ahead and switch over to Maya and bring it in and see how it looks. So here I am in my, I'm in Maya and I'm in my project already. I'm going to go to import and find the FBX. Here it is. And we'll go ahead and import it in.
And here it is. Looks great, doesn't it? Well, actually, we probably need to pull the camera back. But there's the character. Take a look at the model. Looks like the model came over nicely. Now, in Maya, 4 is wireframe, 5 is shaded, and 6 is texture. And here are the textures. It looks like we lost a little bit of our texture here. Uh, the shirt's no longer red. Uh, that's a pretty easy fix, but I uh, just wanted to point that out. A uh, couple other things that we can take note of are the... Um, well, the skeleton. We've got a skeleton in here that came over from uh, Character Creator. So if I select various bones in that skeleton, you'll see that the character still deforms. Little problem there. I think I just have the wrong bone price selected. Uh, not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it's just the wrong bone selected. Rigging can be a little bit complicated. Here we've got the correct bone. Uh, I believe that it's just some bone setup that uh, allows for twisting of the uh, forearm here. Anyway, it looks, uh, looks pretty good. Deforms nicely. Uh, so that's how easy it was to uh, bring this character over from Character Creator in, uh, into Maya. Now, before wrapping up this video, let, let me just reiterate that uh, I do believe that you need to have the Character Creator Pipeline to have this functionality, to be able to take characters from Character Creator and bring them into other software uh, besides iClone. So, uh, main purpose of this video, however, is to show you how uh, the characters that you create in Character Creator or the work that you do in iClone, how you can use it uh, in a production pipeline uh, for uh, creating characters for your game levels, for your game experiences in various game engines such as Unreal, uh, Unity, and so on. Anyway, I hope that this video has been helpful for you, and thank you for watching.